Welcome to Chemistry Made Simple. Today is another day. We are going to look at problem solving. But remember that we are going to use the ideas we have acquired from the beginning, that is the introduction to redox reaction, to solve problems. Remember, the, from the introduction, we went to the concepts on the identification of oxidizing and reducing agents, the identification of oxidizing and then reducing agents. Today, we are going to look at how to solve the problem on the board with the help of the knowledge that we have on the concept of the identification of oxidizing agents and then reducing agents. So, join me to the board. We have a very nice question that says consider the following reactions we have i cv plus 2 ag plus produces cu2 plus plus 2 ag the second one is zn plus cu2 plus produces zn2 plus plus cu the third one mg plus zn2 plus produces mg2 plus Plus Zn. State with reason, that is the question. State with reason the A, strongest oxidizing agent, B, the strongest reducing agent. That is our problem for today. And we are going to solve it. In fact, we have already learned the concept under the identification of oxidizing agents and then identification of reducing agents. So this is how we go by the question. In fact, you are supposed to put forth an empirical statement. That statement will govern everything that you do. And in fact, when you put forth that statement, it explains the chemistry of the action. So the empirical statement explains the chemistry of the action. That means the chemical reaction and the chemical equation that you put forth. So we are going to put for the empirical statements for the first question. A. What are we going for? All reducing substances are optimizing. Agents. So all reducing substances are oxidizing agents. That is our empirical statement. That is going to govern the chemistry of the action. Everything that we are going to do. So technically, we know reducing substances are going the process of what? Reduction. So they are going the process of reduction. And all the substances that are going the process of reduction are oxidizing agents. So we we'll pick the first one, which is the first reaction. Uh, we look at the substance that undergoes the process of reaction. Reduction. Now, in reduction reaction, we realize that we add electron to the left hand side of the equation, that is the reactant side. And per the first reaction, it is from two AG plus that we add electron to the left hand side of the equation, which is the reactant side. Therefore, I'll pay. AG plus produces AG and then we have 2 and then we have 2 over here therefore I'll add my electron and then in order to balance it I'll have to multiply by 2 so in multiplying by that is the multiplication is done so which is by 2 we therefore I'll put 2 over here and it balance the charges now we know AG oxidizes oxidizes C. So AG plus oxidizes C. Now let's take the second reaction. In the second reaction, we have Zn and then Cu2 plus. And you know if we see Cu2 plus we add electron to the reactant side. And that indicates that reduction has taken place 
a property. So we have CU plus electron produces CU. And therefore, we have two over here. What can we see? CU2 plus oxidizes. CU2 plus oxidizes ZN. Now, we have the third reaction. So we have ZN2 plus plus P produces. Zn. I know we have to add two to this side. Now we can say that Zn two plus oxidizes Mg. Now remember, within this reaction, reduction process took place. Therefore, we said all reducing substances are oxidizing agents. So it means that silver iron is an oxidizing agent. Cu2 plus Zn2 plus, they are all oxidizing agents because they undergo the process of what? Reduction. Now the question comes the strongest oxidizing agent. So, strongest oxidizing agent. The strongest oxidizing agent is silver iron. The strongest oxidizing agent. Is AG plus. Now, to be able to uh, select the strongest oxidizing agent, you need to understand what is meant by strong oxidize, oxidizer. So, strong oxidizer. Therefore, the question comes what is A strong oxidizer. A strong oxidizer in a compound or redox. Reaction is an element with high oxidation states or high electronegativity. High electronegativity. So if you compare them, their electronegativity level, silver has the highest. So on the standard hydrogen electric potential, you realize that stand, uh, silver iron has the, the highest value over there. So if you compare their values to it can help you, which is 0 0.8 volts. So uh, silver iron is the strongest over here, the strongest oxidizing agent among Cu2 plus and then Zn2 plus is silver iron. Now let's move to the last question which is B. The B part of the question, to we have to put our empirical statement. The empirical statement, all, but we said all reducing substances. This time, all All oxidizing substances are reducing agents. All oxidizing substances are reducing agents. So we are going to look at them, the reactions, one after the other. Now pick the first reaction. But when we talk about oxidizing substance, we are looking at substance that undergoes the process of oxidation. And in oxidation, we add electron to the product side. So we look at the substance or the element which will add electron to the product side. That is C. 
and like that. So see you produces CO2 plus plus E and then two electrons. So CO reduces CO reduces AG plus CO reduces AG plus and then we also have Zn. So Zn produces Zn two plus plus two E. So you can say Zn reduces Zn reduces Cu two plus. Now we can also talk of M. Look at Mg produces Mg two plus plus. Two electrons. Then technically, we can say that Mg reduces Zn. So now we have to choose the strongest reducing agent. The strongest reducing agent will go in for Mg. You go in for Mg. The strongest reducing agent is Mg. Now, the explanation is that note the strongest reducing agent is the element which is highly electro positive. So, the strongest reducing agent is the element that is what highly electro positive. Today, we have come to discuss how to solve this problem and how to determine.